Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they may be viewing you, any possible action that they may take towards you. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. All right, your person showing up as the page of pentacles in reverse. They're viewing you as the two of wands and possible future action they may take towards you, nine of pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so it does look like you have somebody here that wants to come rushing towards you. They're definitely nervous. They're in an energy of over-analysis paralysis, but I do feel they're ready to work on things. They want to put in the work here. All right, the Page of Pentacles in reverse tells me they're holding back. You know, they, they may need a little push from the universe, or they're just waiting for the right time. I kind of hear they want everything to be perfect. You might make this person quite nervous, Aries. Okay. Yeah, justice card. They might be acting aloof. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, they might be acting aloof. They might, they're just like kind of really worried about optics. It's like they don't want to come in and look and look stupid. That's what I'm getting. All right. And we have the hermit card in reverse. Yeah. You have somebody, they might have Virgo in their chart, but regardless, you have a, a little bit of a worry wart here, right? Somebody who's gets very easily stuck in their head. They're nervous about the way things, you know, might look. They don't want to come off weak. They don't want to come off, you know, in the wrong way is what I'm getting. They are going to reach out and, and it might kind of feel like they're coming out of nowhere, but just know Aries, they are in their head about you. They're in their head about taking this leap of faith towards you. Um, they see you as the two of wands. They kind of feel like the ball is in your court. So you might have decision, you know, a decision between them and someone else, or they know that whatever has happened here, it's really up to you whether or not you want to resolve things. Yeah, this person is definitely, they feel there's a lot of instability here within this connection. Yeah, a lot of them, they're worried there's a third party. And for some of you, there might be, maybe you've moved on with someone else. You know, for some of my Aries, this could be somebody who's a secret admirer, who's been waiting for you to, you know, end something with you know, with a third party. So get a divorce or separate from someone. Maybe they met you and you're kind of on the rocks with someone else. You know, it could be many different scenarios there, but this person's really worried that you don't want them or you're not as into them as they are to you. I think they're also really worried that you have someone else. Okay. That there's a third party. They could just be naturally jealous or suspicious. So the nine of pentacles energy in reverse tells me some of you, you might work with this person and they're like a secret admirer or they're not really reaching out right now, but they do want to put in the work here. It's just kind of like, it feels more like more than anything, Aries, it's those first steps that get this person. Yeah. Seven of swords. This person's avoiding you. Avoidant. They do want to heal things. They are going to come in eventually with a love offer or an apology, but they're going to take their time. See this person, there's a part of them that wants to be really impulsive and rush towards you. And then there's this like nervous or this anxious part of them that holds them back. And I feel like they're planning. I feel like they're strategizing on how to come towards you, what to say to you. Okay. So let's see, what does this person want my Aries to know? What does this person want my Aries to know? What do they want my Aries to know here? I want to work on my foundation and finances to prepare for a fresh start. So some of my Aries, this person might feel like they don't have enough to offer you, or they may even feel like you're a little bit out of their league. They want stability and they also want to be able to offer that to you. All right. I am opening myself up to love. I want to hold my tender heart Sorry, I want you to hold my tender heart in the palm of your hands and accept me for who I am. So they're worried that you're not going to accept them, Aries. Maybe because of something that's happened or maybe just because they feel like they're not good enough or they don't have enough. Okay, and please understand I need space and time to work through my own issues. Yeah, and this person's definitely very nervous. They're very, very nervous about rejection. They're very nervous about coming off 
in a, in a, in a wrong way. Okay. Or in a bad way, or like they don't have enough. Um, you know, they're, they're worried. They're worried about the optics to be honest is what I keep getting, but they're also worried that they don't have what it takes is what I'm hearing. Um, or that you're really out of their league. So let's see. What else do we need to know about this person or this connection, please? I still care, so they care a lot about you. All right. They're getting a lot of divine guidance, maybe even getting tarot readings, you know, psychic readings about you, about this connection, and quick replies. Yeah, so if you were to write to this person, boom, they would write back immediately and rendezvous so there might be a little meetup or um yeah maybe this is somebody you've had like a, a sort of brief encounter with or fleeting romance with um that's not going to be for all of you um but you definitely have somebody in their in their head here aries for sure okay let's see clear messages and guidance for my aries please all right so the path to inner peace so Spirit's advice for you is if you're not at peace with yourself, nothing you attract will bring you peace. Check your vibe, okay? So that could be for you. It can also be for your person, all right? Because I do feel like your person definitely struggles with that nervousness and anxiety. Mm. Don't settle. Don't accept your current circumstances as the best you'll ever have. Don't be afraid to start over, okay? So again, if you have a history with this person, Aries, and it, and it wasn't good enough, you know, just honor that as well. Honor what you need, what you, what you want, what you need in a relationship. Um, but again, it's saying don't, don't be afraid to start over. So things can shift and, and transform or change if you want it with this person. Okay. And closed doors are blessings. Mm. If something you were hoping for doesn't happen, know that something even better will. And for some of my Aries, like I said, it really could be if you're going through a divorce or you're going through a major separation, you very well could have a secret admirer here. Someone who may be a blessing as a result of some sort of closed door. But for others of my Aries, if the door has closed on this relationship, on the energy that I'm picking up on, just know that, you know, what is meant to be will never pass you by. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.